Hey friends, hope you're having a great day. Excited for the fifth day of school. Uh, a lot of great things planned today, I think. We're going to be looking at Jack Antos' Writing Radar, some great tips for writer's notebooks, which we're working on developing in our classroom and getting into some good habits with our notebooks. So I'm going to take a little chapter out of here and have some fun with that. This book is like phenomenal. The new book that we're writing in the classroom library today is The First Rule of Punk, which is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite middle grade novels of the year. I think that every reader should read this book. Every classroom should have this book. It's going to be a good day. The day is off to a great start. We, um, today in writing, we are looking at coming up with ideas and ways to write in our journal, trying to get the kids independent in their writing notebook. Today we looked at Jack Gantos's writing, writing radar and using story maps to help you come up with ideas. Story maps. Using story maps to help you come up with ideas. Jack shares some of his. He also kind of writes about how he uses it and, and then shares an example of how he took one of those maps and used it to do some writing. It was really cool, really powerful. The kids loved it. They created some really neat maps and I created a map and then they picked one of the actions from that map and then wrote about it. I did the same, it was fun. A lot of kids sharing. I love hearing the different voices. I love hearing uh, their words come alive and seeing what kind of writers they are. Having a great day. It's going well. Love my writers. We're gonna do some amazing things in writing this year. Good kids. I wanna talk about the book that I read the kids today for our classroom book a day. It's called Hidden Dangers, Seek and Find 13 of the World's Deadliest Animals. It's by Lola Schaefer, illustrated by Tim Armstrong. This book is awesome and it's crazy. The kids loved it. Uh, it kind of terrifies me, some of the animals. The uh, golden poison dart frog has enough poison in it to kill 8 to 20 people. 8 to 20 people. We have fun talking about that one. Porcupine, North American porcupine, 25 thousand to thirty thousand quills and when they go inside of you with your body heat the ends like extend and then they get stuck it's terrible so the kids loved it uh, absolute awesome read aloud didn't read all the animals read most of it uh, i read like the first four or five and then i let them pick the next two or three so hidden dangers an absolute must read picture book trying to make sure that i do a better job of honoring nonfiction text this year during classroom book a day Great end to the fifth day of school. It was going really well. Lunch was good. I had a meeting and that meeting got canceled. So then I got all this work done, which was unexpected. And, and then like I was teaching, I was actually sitting on the carpet over here with my kids reading The Honest Truth. We're at this really intense part where Mark is getting beaten up by these bullies as he's walking through the streets of Seattle. And Miss Haney, my principal, comes in and she brought wobble chairs. four wobble chairs. So we have these wonderful wobble chairs. And she actually came in like, these are 150 pound weights. And she was like shoulder pressing them. And the kids were loving that. And then we I took the kids out for brain break because I think recess is so important. And I take my kids out every single day. They get a lunch recess, but that's not enough. I always make sure they get that second time to go outside and play. That's another video. I probably should talk about that. But when we came back in, stand up desk. Holy smoke, so we got this stand-up desk that I was dying to get. Miss Haney got a purchase, had someone make it. We got these four wobble chairs. It was awesome. Talk about a great end of the day. And then, to top it all off, the icing, the cherry on top of my awesome day Sunday. In my mailbox, which I never check, but I checked today. Maybe I check it about once a week. Notes from former students. Had so much fun in your class last year. Thank you for helping me be safe and successful. Third grade was the best. You were so nice. I try. You taught me so much. It's helping me in fourth grade. Pink is the best. P.S. Pink is the best. Pink is the best. Thank you for being a great teacher. And this one, I really like this one. Thank you for everything. You are my favorite teacher. Wait, wait for it. You showed me that it's okay to be silly. It is okay to be silly. I hope your day was awesome. Thanks for watching.